A former mayor handcuffed in court. You are charged with one count of battery, sir. His alleged victim claiming she was bruised and terrified. There's two sides to every story. But Carlos Alvarez now vowing a legal fight till the end. My side has not been told to anybody and I'll have my day in court. It was a stunning day in court to see the former Miami-Dade mayor and police director facing a judge. Afterward, Alvarez told us he did nothing wrong. Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg is live in Coral Gables working our top story at 6. Glenna. It was somewhat surreal to so many people. Lori Calvin, the actual charge is misdemeanor battery, but the background is this tumultual personal relationship. And what happened in that garage, whatever happened over the weekend, would probably never be in the public domain, but for the offices that Carlos Alvarez held in Miami-Dade. And today, when he walked out of jail, you sense he knew that very well. I'm standing here talking to you against the advice of my attorney, okay, because I have nothing to hide. I'm, uh, I did nothing wrong. He said... And she said, Carlos Alvarez's ex did, that he grabbed her, bruised her, spit on her during their latest fight Saturday in the garage of the condo they shared together until last year, and then sent this harsh text soon after. She is battling cancer. Mr. Alvarez is clear that he's to have absolutely no contact with Ms. Fernandez. Understood. The arrest of Miami-Dade's former mayor and police director on a misdemeanor domestic battery charge put into public view a personal, troubled 14-year relationship with Evelyn Fernandez, a police lieutenant herself. There have been other calls to police in the past. Today by phone, she recounted, one day to another, he snaps. Cycles started coming more quickly. Everything changed when he started bodybuilding, she said. That was 2013. This video from a competition was the first the public saw of the once popular mayor since he'd been recalled two years earlier by a furious public, furious at his spending in a recession. I don't want to see him hurt in any way, Fernandez told us. He needs help. My brother has always been a very gentle, loving brother, son, grandson, uncle, father. He's was always surrounded by women. I was a public figure for many years. Uh, my side has not been told to anybody, and I'll have my day in court. We understand the evidence in this case against Carlos Alvarez includes the bruising that you saw in those photographs as consistent with Evelyn Fernandez's story. They also have in evidence a t-shirt she was wearing. She claims that he spit upon and her teenage daughter gave an account to police that they also find consistent. As for Carlos Alvarez's side of the story, you heard you have not heard that yet, but he will be airing that as his court case proceeds. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Coral Gables tonight, Local 10 News.